Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Steve. This is The Fandom Show. It's the start of a new week, so that must mean it's time for another episode of Mondays Suck. I've missed the past couple of weeks doing holiday things, but such is the way it goes this time of year. I'm also fighting a little bit of a cold, but I'm feeling okay at the moment, so this isn't going to be a super long video, but I think I'll be able to get through it just fine. It is the holiday season, so I figured today for Mondays Suck, we'd look at a few terrible Christmas movie sequels. These were sequels to... Uh, nearly classic Christmas movies that were not very good at all. So let's go ahead and start with Jingle All the Way 2. If you remember Jingle All the Way, it was a Christmas movie from back in the 1990s, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and the late great Phil Hartman. It was about one man's quest to get a Turbo Man doll for his son, and it basically poked fun at the people who will go crazy trying to get the year's hottest toy. Of course, back then the Furby craze was all over the place, and so it basically neared what was going on, in real life toy stores and all of that. And we've seen this happen again and again with various hot products. It wasn't the best movie. It was pretty entertaining. Phil Hartman is fantastic. It's definitely worth a watch if you've never seen it before. Years and years and years later, 2016 I actually believe, we got Jingle All the Way 2 starring Larry the Cable Guy. Now, I'm not the biggest Larry the Cable Guy fan. I don't really have a problem with Larry the Cable Guy, but he's a bit of a downgrade from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Also, this one, if you can believe it, was co-produced by WWE. Yes, it's true, WWE bought the rights to this and made a jingle all the way too. I'm not gonna tell you how low the ratings are for this one, just understand that they are very, very low. So stay away, stay away, stay away. Next, we jump to two of my favorite uh, Christmas movies, Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Absolute classics in my opinion, the first, perfection. Absolutely perfection. Great John Hughes movie, great nostalgia movie, Holiday classic through and through and through. Second one, still really solid. Highly recommend it. The next ones. Uh, 1997, Home Alone 3. We got a new kid, a new family, no more McAllisters. Home Alone 3 is okay. It's worth a watch on an afternoon if you've got nothing better to do. It's not absolutely outright terrible, but it pales greatly in comparison to the first two. But that's not all. Then in the early 2000s, we got Home Alone 4, also known as Home Alone Taking Back the House. This Home Alone movie brings back the McAllisters, except we have different actors. It featured French Stewart as one of the burglars. Why they put French Stewart in there, I don't know. You might remember him from Third Rock from the Sun, but that ought to tell you this movie is not that good. It was actually meant to be a, a pilot for a Home Alone TV series, but for some reason they decided they didn't want to go through and do the series, so they just decided to do it as a Home Alone movie, and it's the reviews are terrible, I wouldn't bother. And then some years later, we got Home Alone the Holiday Heist, because hey, why not try to get this thing to work again? Well, once again, I don't think in this day and age you're gonna be able to recreate the Home Alone magic, so I would not recommend the Holiday Heist Stay far, far, far away. And last but not least, A Christmas Story 2. Yes, if you can believe it, they made a sequel to one of the most iconic Christmas movies of all time. But like the other sequels I've talked about today, do not touch this one with a 10-foot pole. This one is nowhere near, it's not even the same universe as the original. Usually you say the same ballpark, no, screw that. It's not the same universe as the original, okay? Do not waste your time with A Christmas Story 2. It is an insult to one of the most iconic Christmas movies that there is. Stick with the iconic ones, stick with the originals, stay away from the garbage sequels. There are plenty of great holiday movies out there that deserve your time more than Home Alone 3 through 5, Jingle All the Way 2, or A Christmas Story 2. That's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again real soon.